If you're going on a cruise and trying to pack light or even carry on only, then you know what a challenge this can be. In this video, I'm gonna share with you the tips, tricks, and real strategies that are gonna help you to have everything you need while not overpacking. Hi there, I'm Ilana from the website lifewellcruise.com. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Now, true story, I am going on a cruise in just a couple of weeks and because I am flying there, I'm really trying to be much more intentional about what I'm packing. And I was even wondering, can I not only pack light, but can I pack carry on only? Now, I did do some practice packing this past week and I was actually able to get seven days. Yes, seven days worth of cruise clothing. And you know, I am not a super light packer, but all into this carry-on. So I will show you that a little bit later and I'm going to share with you tips, tricks, and strategies of how you can pack light and even carry on only for your cruise. Now before I get started, I did want to mention that if you like this video, if you find it helpful, informative, or enjoyable in any way, then please do give this video a big thumbs up. I really do appreciate it and please subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. Let's get started. Now, as you know, getting ready for a cruise does take some organization. So I've divided this video up by a planning portion. And then after that, by the tips, tricks, and strategies, including a couple of folding hacks, even one for a men's suit. So the first tip when it comes to packing light for a cruise or even carry on only is to be very intentional. So you want to know three things. One, your itinerary, that is obviously going to determine what type of clothing you need. If it's a warm weather cruise, or a cool weather cruise. As well, you wanna know the length of the cruise. If you have a three day to a five night cruise, it's going to be a lot easier to pack in a smaller suitcase. If you have a longer cruise, you're definitely just going to have to use more strategies to be able to bring a little bit less. And you also wanna know your cruise line dress code. Number two, you want to make sure that you have a packing list. That's gonna help you to keep on track with everything that you're bringing on a cruise, but it's also gonna help you to whittle down maybe some of the things that you might not need for this cruise in particular. Number three, plan your outfits. Now, personally, I think this is where a lot of us have a little bit of difficulty, and I think it really is the most important because when it comes to overpacking, probably many of us, myself included, bring too many cruise outfits. We wanna look nice, we wanna look cute, and maybe we're not gonna wear all of those cruise outfits, so there are definitely some things that we can leave at home. Now, what I like to do is I actually like to use a cruise outfit planner. Basically, what I do is I actually write down the itinerary that I have so that I can see when I have sea days versus port days. When I have my port days, I can know what kind of outfits am I going to need. If I'm going on a beach excursion, I need a cover up and a bathing suit. That's it. If I'm doing a tour, I might need some shorts and a t-shirt. Even though I can still make some decisions once I'm on the ship, it just helps me to plan. Now, what I'll do is I'll even write down like the day and the evening. So for instance, when we have formal nights, so on a cruise that's seven nights or longer, usually you'll have two formal nights on a cruise. Longer cruises, you might have even three. And just something to let you know, these days, formal nights or chic nights, whatever they're called on your cruise line that you are on, they're not black tie events anymore unless you're on Cunard. So the majority of cruise lines really these are still dress up nights but they're not really super formal so you definitely can bring a suit if you're a man or a cocktail dress if you're a lady but you can also wear like a little black dress or a very pretty uh, sundress there are definitely some options a nice black pair of pants and a pretty top all of that works well as well now, when it comes to packing light for a cruise, something else that's really important is the type of luggage that you choose. So you want something, first of all, that is lightweight, that is also easy to maneuver. And I do think also having a hard shell suitcase, I will share with you my story after as to why I think it is so important, but this is something that is very useful as well. Now, I'd like to thank the sponsor of this video, Level 8 Luggage. They partnered with me on this video and I couldn't be more thrilled to share their luggage with you. Now the Level 8 textured luggage comes in a few different sizes. I have the carry-on size, which is 20 inch, and the other size that you see next to me is 24 inch, so the smallest of the check bags. But as you can see, it has this beautiful textured diamond finish. This is so that it is scratch resistant and very durable. Now, by the way, when I open up the 20 inch carry-on, you're gonna be amazed at everything that actually fit in, just in terms of the organizational system that is in place in this suitcase. So first, let's take a look inside. I've already pre-packed this to give you a bit of an idea of how you might be able to use this for your cruise. Now, something that you'll notice right away on your level eight luggage is that the zippers, both the exterior and the interior are quality metal. Now, I decided to use the set of packing cubes. They come in a set of four from level eight. 
and they fit so well into this carry-on size that I decided to use them and I was honestly quite amazed. So on one side of my luggage, I have all of the different items that I've packed mostly for the evening. So you can see that I just had my pants on top, but everything else is pretty much rolled up. And then on the other side, we have two zippered pouches that you can put any small items in here. And as well, this opens up. And as you can see, I used three other packing cubes for my different items. So like you could see, the luggage is really nice and roomy to the point that I was even able to put some little shoes at the bottom of here and even a tote bag. Now, some of the features about the Level 8 suitcase that I really love and I think that you'll like too are, of course, the 360 spinner wheels. Not only are they sturdy, but they're also ultra quiet and they seem to just glide. Now, you also have a sturdy aluminum telescopic handle and very important, you have a TSA combination lock that is built in. And when you think about the fact that when you go on an airplane and perhaps you put your carry-on bag in the overhead bin above you, sometimes you go to sleep, you're resting, especially on a long flight, you definitely definitely want to make sure that is locked and that combination lock that is built in that is TSA approved is perfect. Now I have to say this level eight luggage that is definitely the most beautiful luggage that I've ever owned, but more importantly is the fact that it is so functional and it is a very good quality and I think you'll even be impressed with the price. I am going to leave the information down below in the description of this video for level eight. And at the same time, I have a little bit of a bonus for you. It is a discount code. So if you are interested in purchasing or just even checking out any of the luggage from level eight, please make sure to use my link below in the description and use the code LIFEWELLCRUISED10 at the checkout for a 10% discount. Now, when it comes to your cruise outfits, there are definitely some really easy ways to bring a little bit less. So firstly, don't bring any just in case outfits. I have done this before. This is just always a bad idea. So if you haven't worn it already, if you're not comfortable in it already, there's no way you're going to actually feel better in it on a cruise after you've eaten well, well on a cruise and drank well on a cruise. So just leave that at home, don't even bring it. However, some of the other tips is when you are on a cruise, you can bring one pair of pants, for instance, in the evening. In this case, for this cruise, I'm going to bring a pair of white pants, but you could bring black pants, you could even bring dark jeans, and you could wear different tops with them. Now, something else to do, and I've done this before, even on past cruises, is you can wear a dress in the evening, especially on a casual evening, and you could wear that same dress as a dress to wear in a cruise port on another day of the cruise. Now, of course, people don't even care or remember what you wore. So you could even wear one dress at the beginning of the cruise or one outfit, and you could wear the same outfit later on in the cruise as well. Now, remember that you can do laundry on a cruise. Now, some cruise ships make it easier by having a small laundry room on some of the different decks on the ship. So you can go do a small load of laundry. Other cruise ships, unfortunately, don't have this, but instead they have a laundry service. Now, it does tend to get really pricey, so I generally don't like to use it, but some Sometimes you might even have like a laundry bag special as I did on a past Norwegian cruise. It was $29 for a bag of laundry and I decided to do that. In other cases, if you are a past passenger on certain cruise lines, you'll actually get a perk of free or discounted laundry on your cruise. Now, another way to pack really efficiently for your cruise is to create a capsule wardrobe. So for instance, you'll choose one or two colors and you'll basically make all of your outfits around this. Now, if I was going to do this, I probably would choose navy and white. I tend to wear those a lot and I absolutely love them. But when I am on a cruise, I do tend to want to mix it up a little bit. So I don't usually do that. But if you have a lot of certain colors, you definitely can do this on a cruise and just add a couple of pieces, maybe even a scarf for a pop of color. Now, a great way to pack light for your cruise is to actually make more efficient use of the space that you have in your luggage. So take a look at all of those nooks and crannies, see where you can actually fit items. One of the places is in shoes. I like to use that tip because it actually helps to keep the form of the shoes as well. So things like socks, even underwear, even belts sometimes can fit into shoes, in particular men's shoes, but even ladies' shoes. If you have cruise essentials, if you have magnets, if you have, um, Towel clips, put them right into the shoes. 
Now, one piece of advice when it comes to packing light or carry on only that I sometimes see, and I just don't agree with when it comes to a cruise in particular, is don't pack for the eventualities or the what if scenarios. Now, in particular for a cruise, you won't be able to get everything on that cruise ship if you do need it. So you do have to pack for the just in case things that might make a difference. So in particular, make sure just never cruise without it is some antacids or anything basically for the stomach. Oftentimes those are not necessarily sold on the cruise ship, you may actually have to go to the ship's doctor. And if you just have a little bit of an upset stomach because of what you ate, you just wanna have that with you. Now, when it comes to toiletries, I always find that's a little bit tricky because especially if you are flying carry-on, you do have to follow those TSA guidelines. So it means you really are limited on the liquids that you bring. And if you pack it in your checked luggage, of course it does take a lot of room. So a little tip is consider, well, of course you can still bring your travel size containers. If you do, make sure to bring them in the appropriate sizes. You could put moisturizer, for instance, any other creams, any shampoos and stuff, you can put them in the travel bottles and then of course in a clear pouch for TSA. But you could also do something else and that is to pick up the items at the cruise port before you embark on the cruise ship. So usually we always fly in or drive in one day before the cruise at least. I always suggest that everybody does the same. And you can always find usually a Walgreens or a Walmart, even a dollar store nearby your hotel. Alternatively though, and I think this is even better, is consider actually ordering from Amazon. Now I mentioned this because I do this and I'll show you why. I actually purchased Bonine um, from Amazon and I actually have it delivered to my hotel when I am going on a cruise. And the reason that I do this is because in the country that I live in, in Canada, it's actually not available. And I really, really do like it that much that I pick it up every time that I go. Now, just a little note though, make sure that you do call the hotel in advance, just let them know what you plan on doing and just make sure it's okay. Usually they will leave that at the reception desk for you. And I try to order so that it's there at least a couple of days before I get in. Now, when it comes to folding or rolling and saving space, I actually just learned two new tips that I'm gonna share with you. But one of them, of course, is try to use packing cubes. So if you have packing cubes at home already, absolutely great. These packing cubes, by the way, do actually fit with the 20 inch carry on bag from level eight. As well, they would absolutely fit and go with any of the larger cases, but they are just a perfect fit for that carry-on. So very, very good. They come actually in a set of four, but just to show you, I was able to put all of my day wear for my cruise all into one packing cube. So it's gonna all fall out. But basically what I did is I put two pairs of shorts, so for the daytime, and then I have a few dresses, a couple of shirts, and all of that fit into this sort of medium size packing cube. Now ladies, when it comes to packing your more intimate items, I just read a tip from Mary Kondo, and it is to actually take your underwear, fold them up, and to actually place them into your bra cups, of course, while they're in a packing cube. Now a lot of people say, that when they are overpacking, one of the things that they just bring too much of are shoes. So a suggestion is that you probably only really need three to four pairs of shoes. So you definitely need shoes to walk in. So those can be sneakers or any other walking shoes. You also want to bring flip-flops or shoes that you might wear to the pool or to the beach if you're on a Caribbean or Bahamas or tropical cruise. You might also want to bring some sandals and then you'll want some shoes for the evening or some dress shoes. Now you may also want to look for other ways to save space. So some of that might be taking a look at your cruise essentials. Are there any that you can do without? And even when it comes to things like bringing books, you can bring a Kindle and that will work really well. You could even bring your phone and on your phone you're going to have certain apps. So instead of bringing like a sound machine, you may want to simply just have the apps on your phone. Now, when it comes to packing a suit, I never thought I'd find a way to pack a suit and not have it end up being a wrinkly mess unless it was in a garment bag. But here's the way you can actually pack a suit even in a carry-on bag. So first of all, the pants, those are easy. Lay them on a table, but we're gonna work with the jacket. So what you're going to do, here is my husband's suit jacket. What we're gonna do is we're going to actually sort of turn it inside out, but by the shoulders. So just bring those shoulders in, just the shoulder. Now, once you have that shoulder in, have it face you. So I have my husband's jacket facing me. Give that a little pull so that the shoulder is nice. And what you're going to do is you are gonna work with the collar. Just make sure that collar is nice and straight. And you're going to make sure that the lapels, basically the sides of them are able to be even. They're touching each other now. 
Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually fold this nice and straight. I'm going to fold this just like this. And I'm just folding the suit with the lining on the outside. And then what you're going to do is you're going to place this in the middle of the pants and you're going to fold the pants so that your jacket is just on the inside. And that is going to keep it like a nice bundle. When you do get to your cruise, you're just going to make sure that you unpack that right away. Put it into the bathroom maybe when you're taking a shower, let it steam. But I think you'll find you don't even have many wrinkles and anything that is there is going to come right out. Now, please let me know if you've ever used that trick for packing a suit and any other tips and tricks that you have, please let me know down in the comments below. Now I am gonna leave the information for level eight luggage linked down below in the description of this video. And don't forget to use code LIFEWELLCRUISE10 for a 10% discount on any of your level eight purchases. Now, by the way, if you are interested in packing for a Caribbean cruise, I am gonna leave a video right after this. These are all of the outfits that I wore for my last Caribbean cruise. I hope that does give you some ideas and some inspiration. I hope that you liked this video. If you did, please do give it a big thumbs up. I really appreciate it. And please subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. Bye for now and happy cruising.